Hey, this is Tilak. Welcome back to our BBCS tutorial. This is a continuation of our previous tutorial. The, in the previous tutorial, we tried to edit manually. We create a page which do the edit functional, update functionality manually. So we came up to the position where it can display the value. Now, in this session, we'll continue with that to save the value. Okay, and also we see that we can call the button in a line item or in the, the, the row level. Okay, now if I'm going back, like you know, I call this a new person, I edit, the value is displayed, I can take this out, we don't need it anymore. So the value is displayed, now the save button is here. If you are clicking this save button, it goes for a create, but well, that is what the action is attached to that. Now there is a two way we can achieve whatever we want it. The one is we can have a two button. We can enable a one button on C, one button on U. Okay, that's the one way of doing here. When the mode is C or mode is U. The other way we can have a same button, one button only one button, which can call an action. The action can be splitted with the if condition. If it is mode C, you do that. C, you do that. That's one possibility. Now, in this session, we have a two button. We'll make it a little simpler. So, we'll make it two button. We have an update action. We'll call the update. Then we'll do that. Okay. And that the, the other pages, coming pages, we will have one button. Okay. We try to little complicate in that future. Okay. Now, I'm going here. I'm going button here, that is there, I have a button here. Okay, how do I duplicate? Whether I can create a button or I can get into the code. I call the button here. Okay, I call that this is the save button, am I right? So I am going to have a page called edit, edit. Okay, I'm going to call this one. So I can't have an action on that. I'm removing the action part. Okay, action is, this is sandbox, receive is coming is fine, save. I can call it edit. Does it have ID? No, it doesn't have ID. Everything else is fine to me, okay. Now how do I make it enable or disable? Okay, there is something called if condition in a OJ if something is there, I put a if here. So it says that if, okay, the if is coming here, if button is here. The test is, I say cred mode is, okay, now I take this out. Cred mode is C. C okay. Now if the current mode is C here, this is the job. Now I'm copying this part. I'm putting it here. And also I'm putting a in the OJ find it. This has to be cut. Okay, because we need it for the entire button. Okay, the same way I'm also putting it. Okay, it is done. Okay, now I can format the document. It is not formatted as a flight. Format the document. If is the find is there. Okay, no, we don't need this. Sorry. Also, this is not getting formatted. Format the document. Okay, the button is here. Now here it is U. Okay, if it is U, we have it here. Then probably we are also going to have a button for a D. Then we'll tell it. We'll come to that later. Okay, now I have a button. Okay, now if you are looking here, you probably going to get the same button. Let me work from here only because if you are going here, you may not know which button you are calling it because you may not know. So the reason I'm going to work here itself, I go here the button, I'm going to call a event 
on an action event. Okay. Now what is happening here in this action event? Now there's a two way I can do that. Like I can directly go and update, uh, like to update that, or I can duplicate the create event. I can have everything as it is. I can do the update. Okay. So what we do here is we leave the like you know just xx i don't need that i'm going to tell it that's why i'm just putting xxx button now i go to the chain action now this is the create person action am i right okay. now i go here i duplicate this event okay now i duplicate this event so i'm going here I am making it edit person action chain. Edit person action chain. Okay. okay. Edit person action chain is done. Now what is okay? You can like you know, make it bigger by like, scrolling the mouse. Now let it go here, let it go here, let it go here. This is the only thing I have to update that. Okay. You got it. then let everything work as it is. So like you know if it is uh, fine, not even the failure, everything as it is. The only thing is Rather than creating it, I'm calling the uh, endpoint which updates. Okay, now let me go here. Person patch that is called update. Okay, now person ID we need it because which person we are updating it. We have a person ID here. The person ID is there. It is the variable is the same person because we are working for only one person. So the person ID is done. Now, once it is done, we have to update the body. Okay, what is the body? We have the same variable. The person variable is there. Person variable is the body. So, we are updating that part. So, now that is saved. Now, my action is ready. Okay, so very simple. I just duplicated the uh, this one. The action is ready. Okay. Okay, we'll come to that later for this one. Like this person save. Okay. This says basically that a variable is uh, hard coded. Variable, right? I mean the value that uh, is hard coded. Okay, person is we say that updated. I'm right. Updated. Okay. What is this says? Okay. Person is updated. So it's going to create. I rather than this is anyway we say is person is updated is updated fine. I can give a person name, all right? So I can go here. I can take that uh, person variable. I can take the name. I can show it here. Rather than saying person updated, I like where we know that which person updated, just to confirm it. That I would like to have it. So I have a person updated and which person updated. That's it. Okay. So it is going back to navigation. It is going back. Okay. So. Everything same as it is, like I don't go here for anything else. Now the only thing is I have to go to the page, I have to call them on edit. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is there's a two way I can do that. Like you know, I am going here, I'm deleting this part action. So now I'm going to create a custom action because when whenever you go this way, it is automatically create the action. Rather than going doing that, I'm doing the custom action. So what kind of action you need customer? I'm, I need the same action. Okay, now what is the action you are going to select that? I'm going to select the edit person action. Okay. Select action. So the edit person action is called. Now I have a one action which is a kind of a unused action that xxx. So I can go here. Uh, where go? I can go here. I can delete that part. So now the action is gone. So I have a create action, I have a edit action, go back, change everything is fine. Okay, that is fine here. Now my update is done. Let me go and work on that. I'm just refreshing the page. I'm choosing a new person and the guy doesn't have us. Okay, no, that, that one doesn't matter. I'm choosing a new person. Okay. Let me remove that later. I give a job. What is the job I can give it? I'm making a director. Director. And I give him 200,000. 200,000. Okay. Now let me save that. 
okay the person is updated that's what it says okay now it disappeared see that he became a director is updated when you go and edit again so the value is coming here okay let me go and remove this unnecessary pop-up that we did in the on ender page yes on ender page you have a fire notification and delete deleting it now okay, what it is doing it i just uh, like you know the when you are coming to the page if it is a create mode don't do anything that is fine when you are updating mode we are calling a uh, rest service which get the value when you are coming in there's two values coming in the person the correct mode is coming for a create it is c uh, for a not a create it is update you okay and when you are coming to the person id when you are creating it person id is not populated when you are updating it the person id is whatever person you are updating it is that is coming in so you have a, for uh, update you have two value one is a grid modes update you and a person id person id so for the person id i am getting the value by fetching only one person get plus one person and i'm loading the person or populating the the variable with the data so when you are populating the variable with the data is displayed now you do the changes whatever changes you are doing it you do the changes then basically the button we have two button one is uh, enabled to for a uh, create one is enabled for a update when is updated edit person chain is called i can either call it update that is fine and basically for that we duplicated the create person um, action and we change the only the rest service we change it to update rather than inserting the value we are updating the value for the person id that's all we are doing it so the job is done so now we are ready to roll the edit okay i can edit a one more person let me refresh it okay let me take a one more guy i let me give him a edit Okay, job C president president yeah, president president R. Uh, okay, we can make a BP. Just see the BP. We say that five hundred thousand. I don't know how much BP gets. Okay, I am saving the guy. It is done now. Now the update is done. Okay, test person seven is updated, and update is done. Okay, VP became a VP. The value is done. Okay, now along with that, we enable this button too. Now, how do we enable this button? Now we go to that uh, manage person because that button is lying in a manage person. We go to the page diagram designer. Okay, now what is to be? We just duplicate whatever what is this calling it. That's all we are doing it. They're like you no. Know, button edit action so that's all we are going to do that now let's see click the button even we are also we are not going for default because it's going to create anything we are not going to do that we are going to call the new custom event no we can call actually we can do the default okay we don't have to do this part the reason is this can pass when there's a difference between the edit action here and the edit action here when you are editing the action here it can pass the key itself. It can pass the key itself. You don't have to like, you know, rely on the key which is coming from here. It, it can pass the key itself. Now that key can be assigned to that. Then we can call the edit action. Means what it is doing here is the edit action, when you are edit action already, you have selected the page so that the, the variable is updated. Now when you are doing here, you are selecting and uh, updating it. So the, the key information is passed here. So we can use that key that is more reliable okay when you are doing it here also that the, the base selection that the current base selection key like you know action is updated but that is more easier okay now i go for a new oj action uh, okay i call that button action button table edit table edit action you see the key is coming here first what i'm going to do here is I'm going to assign the key to the. I'm going to. Okay. This is some for some reason. So this is assign variable came here, but that that button is not refreshed. Okay. Now what I do here is I'm going to do a person ID. 
selector person ID. Remember, if that is what I'm going to do, the selector person ID is coming here as key. So you make sure it's the expression, okay? okay? That is all. So now this is right, I'm just refreshing the page. So it's doing a one more action, basically assigning the variable. Now after that, I'm going to call the action chain. That is edit action. Okay, I can call the one chain, can call other chain. That is but an edit action. It doesn't have any parameter. So I'm fine. I'm right. So basically we are assigning the variable calling there. Okay. Okay. You can look at the code from here, what it is doing here. Please understand. You add something and please try to understand. These are things more important. Like you no, know, so you know how it operates. So like you know, say variable, there's no variable we have it. Because we have three variables is created, key, index, and like you know, input these input variables from call it is coming here. Like you know, you can have so what is the action is happening here. And how one action outcome of like you know the outcome of this action is this action. Basically, like you know, uh, this uh, assigning action when it became success, there's only success, nothing else. So unless there's an error. Okay, it is calling the second action, which is descend here, which is calling this action. So try to learn all this in that uh, code side. That helps you a lot. Like even if anything goes wrong, you can figure it out easily, like you know, getting the code and understand that part. Okay, the work is done. Now we refresh the page. I I D D D D. I do that. D D D K. D D D D. I'm just a new D D D D. Okay, so the job is a developer. Now I see like normal guys, poor guys, you will get less salary, fifty thousand. Okay. Person D D D is updated. Okay, so now I look for that. D D D became new D D. This working perfectly fine. So basically, this edit is working. This edit is working. The same way we can implement a bold delete here, delete here. No, this is easy to delete, right? Like, to it here. So we only do a delete from here. This is I don't want, like, you know, okay, this is fine. You can, like, you know, sorting it. This is I don't want that. How do I do that? Okay, now let me go to the beige action. Uh, I go to the code. And uh, let me select the button. Am I right? No, I can go here from the table. I can go to the data. Uh, here it is here. There is a, something should be started sorting. Am I right? Call it sortable. No, I don't want it sortable. I want to disable it. So it is not sortable. So once I disable it, probably what you get is sortable disable that 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 property is added here okay now you want to do something you just copy and paste to anybody else that can be like you know not sortable that's what it is but if you are looking at that the edit is not sortable okay that's all for the day we done the edit and we done the implemented the edit and also implemented the edit in the line item i mean the row item and the next session we see how we edit this page Okay, we use the same page, we edit it. It is the same concept like, so I mean delete. The same concept like edit and uh, that's nothing different. The only thing is um, the triggers, bit, like the action will change. Other than that, it is the same as what we are doing for edit. Okay, if you have any question, any suggestion, or any, any way, better way of doing it, please let me know. If you know a better way of doing it, please let me know. The reason is not only I can learn, if anybody goes through this uh, video, they can also learn. Thank you. Bye.